Praise the Lord this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for all those who are on the morning. This is Monday morning. And we are talking here devotional time. I praise God for this time. And we're talking here this, this week about the whole mindset. And I trust that God, that you, we all will understand what's going on. And we're talking this whole week here, mind preparation for new levels. New levels. Prepare mind for a new level that God has prepared for us. And I'm talking this Monday morning of understanding your, your mind. Discipline your mind. Discipline your mind. Your mind is the place where everything happens. And uh, your mind, and I thank God. And the text this morning is Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 5. It said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conform to this world be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That's that's a good text there. Eh? You know, for I say for I say the truth of grace given unto me to every man that among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think that soberly according as God has given to every man the same measure of faith the same measure of faith. But for, for as we have many members in one body and, and all the members are at the same office. And was five. So we being many are one body in Christ and every one member, one member, one of another. So the key text here is to present your body a living sacrifice unto God. God God is the one who knows our, our way of thinking, our thoughts, our mind. God is the one who is in our head. When we are born again, he's in the head. Sometimes God, God makes demand on us by our thoughts and he makes demand on us to our body of sacrifice. Sometimes we do things that only God alone can get the glory and praise and with your bodies and your mind and so on. So God is saying to us to present your body a living sacrifice while you're alive. Make sure that God, you make sure you belong to God. Whatever you're going through, make sure you belong to God. Whatever they say, he say, she say, them say, it has happened to you. Make sure it belongs to God. In first, you present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy and holy means you have to do your best to comply to God's will and God's way. Whatever you do, try to comply to God's will and God's way. You have to discipline yourself to try and walk and please God. Many times we do things, we fail, we, we, we drop short, we come short. But yet still, God knows exactly where you are and what you're going through. Fucking what you know where I'm at and what I'm going through. I hope you do the same with you. So when you present your body a living sacrifice, you know, it must present in a holy concept. You know, you know, holy. And when, when you do this, he accept you. He accept this all come from your mind. Says here also, be not transformed and be, be not transformed and be transformed by the renewal of your mind. So your mind has to be renewed daily. I, my mind is under attack every day. I know yours are under attack every day. Your mind be under attack every day. The enemy will not leave you and he always attack your mind. Your mind is the battlefield and where the enemy comes in and try to really dictate and direct and miss, you know, put in the, in the wrong direction. All these are, cri are criteria that where you have to bring yourself under discipline and you depend on God to take you there. God is the one who will take you there. He said, I'll be, say, be transformed with your mind, right? And he said, and don't be conformed to this world. The world system will always be present. We are in this world, but not of this world. So there's no way you can leave this world and just don't come back, you know, unless something happened, you know, but you... You, 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 you are in this world and we have to face the challenges of life in this world at all times. So let this mind of Christ be in you, the Bible says to Philippians. So you have to understand too that we are all in one, we are all one body, one body. We have to look out for each other. 
look out for each other is wonderful you have to make sure while you're going through your, your, your season life your work your job your your, your spiritual life your, your life uh, in, on the whole you need to look out for each other because why we have one body the body have many parts and you are just one part in the body i i might not um be able to hear uh, the the to take care of all the parts in the body, but I could help those who I have access to and give them the opportunity to, to have the mind under discipline. And I've been trying this for years. It's very tough, eh? It's tough. I've been trying to discipline myself, eh? but attacks on every side. What do I do? I have to trust God because why? I'm in the body and Christ is the head of the body. So whatever you're going through this morning, my advice to you, discipline your mind. I bring it underneath subjection. I renew it if it has to renew. But remember this. God wants your sacrifice. God bless you and see you again tomorrow morning. Remember, send those prayer requests again, which will be on tonight at 8 o'clock.